and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is stephanie i make videos on luxury handbags fashion and everyday life if that is something that you're into then go ahead and please keep watching as always if you like this content please go ahead and consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up you can also find me on instagram and at tiktok at you fancy steph in today's video i am going to go over the louis vuitton desk agenda cover with you guys i have had this desk agenda cover for several years and it is something that i use on a weekly basis if not a weekly basis definitely a daily basis i love the desk agenda cover i think it is so super practical. Before I purchased this desk agenda, I scoured all over YouTube and I was really looking for like an in-depth review of the desk agenda and how people were organizing it. And I felt like I, I didn't find anything that I could relate to or that was useful for me or anything like that really. So I thought I would make this video and this video is gonna be a little bit different compared to other people's desk agenda videos. I'm not gonna show you my agenda setup. If you want that, I can do like a whole nother video for that. I just wanna to talk to you about the desk agenda cover itself and how it is a resource in my life. Well, here we have the Louis Vuitton desk agenda cover and I really, really love this. I purchased this. I looked back on my Louis Vuitton account just to see when I purchased it. I purchased it in 2021 on the Louis Vuitton website and I purchased it, I think it was about $600 at the time. Right now, if you go on the Louis Vuitton website, this retails for $620. So I don't think that it's had much of an increase, if any. I don't know if people just don't have an interest for this but I think it's a great practical piece and I get a lot of use out of it. So just to give you some specs on the agenda, it is 7.1 inches in length and it is 9.1 inches in height. I have mine in the monogram canvas, but it comes in the Damier Abine, the Damier Graphite, which is like the black and gray, and then a leather type cover as well with the all black. So as you can see, I got mine in the monogram canvas. Like I mentioned, I use this on a weekly, if not daily basis. I do get a lot of use out of it and it is still in really, really good condition. I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the agenda. For reference, any A5 notebook can fit in here. When I was scouring the web, for some reason, I had such a difficult time finding like an A5 notebook. But now in hindsight, if you go on Amazon and you type in, type in A5 notebook, it pulls up dozens and dozens of different notebooks that you can use that fit in here. I got the Hobonichi Cousin because that's what I had seen all over the internet and that seemed like the most practical and useful insert for this. I still have it and I use it every day. When I actually finish this book though, I think I'm gonna go on Amazon and find other A5 notebooks because there are so many and so many different ones that I'm probably gonna be able to find one that I like better. I don't know, just for my use and every day, I just don't think the Hobonichi Cousin is practical for me. The Hobonichi Cousin is more of like a planner style notebook. So it's got the calendars, it's got the days of the month. And while that is helpful if you're wanting to use this as a planner, I am not using this as a planner per se. I did purchase the Louis Vuitton desk agenda in the GM size. I purchased that about two months ago. And once I finish my planner for this year, 2023, I will go ahead and buy inserts and use that planner for 2024. I use this desk agenda cover with the Hobonichi kind of as like a notebook. On the inside of the book, it has one large compartment right here where the book slips in. And then it's got one right here that you can fold over, put receipts, important notes, anything like that. And then it's got a little compartment right here that can also fit different things that you'd like. I did not get my name hot stamped on this because I wasn't sure how much I would like it, how much I would use it. I definitely would go back and get my initials hot stamped because I freaking love this so, so much, but I did not, so you, you could definitely get a hot stamp right here. I've actually seen people put like gold stickers and put their initials right here, and I think that's really cute. It looks hot stamped to me, but it's not. On the back, there are six card holder slots right here, which again, I don't use. And then it also has this small compartment right here. It's got this flap where you'd insert the cover to your notebook. I have also seen people add like a card stock and then a pencil or pen holder and put it there so that they have that accessible at all times. Again, I don't do that. I feel like I may be an outlier for this. 
I don't use this as a planner like I mentioned earlier. I use this more as a notebook and for that reason I'm not going to go into everything that I have written in here because it's a lot. Some of it's rather personal but I just kind of use this for like journaling so if I you know want to get my thoughts out or like a diary I use it like that. The Hobonichi has like so many pages so I just kind of doodle and journal and put my thoughts out on paper. I actually put like to-do lists in here so if I need to go run errands or I need to do anything on behalf of my children, I go ahead and write it in here and I kind of use it as a checklist or I even use it for my YouTube videos. So anytime I get an idea for a YouTube video, I go ahead and write it down. I try to write down like my bullet points for the video, anything like that relating to any content creation. And I really, really like this a lot, like I mentioned. I will say that this may not be for somebody who's really looking for that planner style vibe i think that if you really want a planner style vibe you can use the desk agenda and in comparison to the the gm the three ring desk agenda with uh, louis vuitton it's significantly cheaper about 300 dollars cheaper this one's 600 that one retails for 900 if you want i can do a full like review and in-depth comparison of both of those pieces comparing the two but i just think this is better suited as like a notebook a journal anything like that i have seen people put in like three ring or like several ring notebooks in here and I feel like it'll look a little bulky not that it can't hold it because this is really really thick canvas and so it can sustain a lot but it would also possibly crease the inside of your canvas and I just don't want to do that with this piece I have seen so many people do like beautiful, beautiful planner setups with this. And unfortunately for me, that's just not realistic for my lifestyle. I don't want to have the hassle of having to stay organized. Naturally, I'm not a very organized person. In some aspects of my life, I absolutely am, but in others, I'm not. And so I think this desk agenda works really well for me because not only is it cute and functional, because I can just jot my thoughts down, or if I need to get something out on paper, I can go ahead and do that. To have a desk agenda used as a planner, you really have to have a lot of discipline and organization to organize it in that way. If you look at other videos, you'll see people adding tabs to their, you know, notebook agendas, or, you know, like I said, they'll put the bulky ring agenda cover, uh, agenda covers in here, which I don't think looks very well because it kind of distorts the canvas a little bit. Have little tabs like for January, February, March, April, and then they'll put the stickers. And I think that is so cute and I love it. I really, really love it. I think it looks great. But that's, and I, in theory, I feel like I would love to do something like that, but that's just not who I am. I just, I can't, I would love to sit down every month and, you know, organize everything and make it look pretty, but I just, I can't. And so that's why a planner style agenda is more suited for me. One that already has the tabs aligned, one that is already, you know, separated by month and day. And I just having to set this up for that is just not very practical for me but i think this is a great piece especially if you are a businesswoman businessman and you need some kind of organization everything is in here plus the pockets make it really easy to store documents or receipts or anything like that it's a really really good piece and i really really love it i hope this video was helpful i hope that if you are thinking about I hope that if you were thinking about buying the Louis Vuitton desk agenda, this kind of swayed you one way or another. This is a forever piece. I will never use it. I will never get rid of it. I use it, like I said, all the time, even if it's just to notate something because the canvas is so heavy duty that it wears really, really well. I mean, you can see that it doesn't have any scuffs or anything like that and it's still in really good condition. Granted, I don't just throw it around everywhere, you know, I keep it with like my, uh, like my Bible and my books and stuff like that. But I think it is a really, really good piece if you're just looking for somewhere to have to organ if you're just looking for a notebook or a piece to kind of organize your thoughts and kind of get everything out on paper and something that you can always kind of revert back to. If you like this content, then I would ask that you please consider subscribing, drop a comment down below, hit that thumbs up. As always, you can follow me on my social media at you fancy stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.